Hey, what's up, Mr. Kawhi? <laughs> I, I can't even give you the whole spiel, right? You know, he, his laugh sounds like like a, like you like wind it up a lawnmower. Like <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, that nigga, that nigga brain run on Lennox. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> they got an update yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for you millennials who don't know what that shit is. Uh, fuck it. That's a very, that's a very pointy joke. You know what I'm that's saying? A joke I be, right there, I be man. sniper rifle with my joke, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That joke is, that joke's I'll, very specific in time. Word. I don't, I only want people between the ages of 25 and 30. <laughs> can, laugh at this can shit. you imagine being a nigga back then with a Lennox computer? Word. And all your homies like, bitch ass nigga, you should have got Windows 98. What the fuck wrong with you? I feel <laughs> dumbass. But I feel like you I feel like <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> you would be if you were old enough, like at a certain point, you'd be that one dude like see the Lennox processor. That was like better. Nah, nah. It was as like, long as it went on the internet, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> that shit was like having a Windows phone. I had an e-machine. <laughs> Remember e-machines? Oh nigga. Not nah, everybody. That had shit is here. It is ten low. feet away from me, right? <laughs> I still have what that? the fuck? Hold up. What is the e machine? How old do you have the way is the e machine? <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it, it, it was just a type of computer. It had Windows like on Compact it. Like Compaq and HP and exactly. all that. Exactly. You never heard of e machines? Well, when did the e-machines come out? It was, it was, um, you know, it was, they, uh, they, they was, it was environmentally you know, friendly and shit. You know, we ain't gonna talk about that, young blood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel like somebody. I don't know, I don't know what they're no, talking about either. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the tales of Lime right. Wire and Napster. E-machines was basically <laughs> a, a cheap computer. Hey, who cares? That was cheaper than compacts and HPs and all that shit, back when a lot of niggas was buying tower computers and shit. And it, um... The tub? Yeah, everybody had one, basically. Oh. It was a brand. It was just a computer brand. But you must, I'm trying to remember. Brevas, yes. It got. It looked like the Internet Explorer sign, but in green. In that black bag. <laughs> basically. By the bed. Word. Mm. But I yeah, didn't man. Have one. That shit was trash. For was, real. But I, I think y'all noticed that, you know, it's somebody extra here. Word. And now I'm the dopey eater. Word. <laughs> 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 Who is this strange Negro amongst our midst? Well, well this strange Negro. Well, no, I'm kidding. But Marshall, before we Marshall. get there... As always, this is Flocka Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Pablo Escovich, aka. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> aka. Dang, which one? Which Pastor one, Pickley's. Which is the one I, you I've been forgetting? Name? The one that. <laughs> dang, there's one that I've been forgetting lately. Oh shit! Oh, Gary Indiana Jones. Gary Indiana <laughs> Jones. Yes, <laughs> we're getting back. Down, nigga. Word. Word. In your notes. Word. <laughs> AKA. No more AKA. Stop the violence. Bloop bloop bop bop bop. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. He did the same thing. You know what, your boy? I seen Black AKA Black Dynamite AKA is back from middle school, nigga. Afro Thunder AKA. <laughs> Holy for carroaches, Holy. aka shabby ranks, always Shady. in the sweatpants, aka because he's a always bet on black, aka Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga. Oh. Hey. Oh. And That's it's your boy, Mr. Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka mm. Black Galifianax, aka mm. Lao Pak Chopra, hey. and also before known as. Skip Beardless. Um, <laughs> and to my left is the homie hey. Laguna. from the 954. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Reffin' okay. Lauderdale. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, my nigga the, uh, Laguna dress. What's good, bro? Yeah, how you doing, Laguna? Let me get my AK. AK, AK 1K. Hey. 1K, AKA. My mama named me Malcolm. Yo. Yeah, okay. Hey, okay. You ain't ashamed of that shit no more, my nigga. That's good. That's how okay. you know me. That's my fact. You share a name with a powerful person. No, it's not a fact. My mama named me Malcolm. Mom. Name me name when the movie came out that year. Oh, word. Yeah, I was oh, word. Movie. Yeah, so. So she named me out Malcolm and Michael, and Mal Malcolm X came out that year. Nice. Denzel was definitely my favorite actor. So that's hey. Oh, dope. shout out. One of the best roles That's name you definitely got to love. Oh, Facts. Nah, that's a lot to live up that's to. A that's the reasoning right, behind it. it. Hey, well, so, thanks for being on, man. We're going to get into more of, you know, Laguna's yeah, information, sure. tell you who to. he is, Word. what he represents. Word. Mm. And that's about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hell <laughs> hell <laughs> anyway. Well, like you said earlier, it's going to be a movie. Like how we always do it. You're going to be here with us, part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Another great black mind with great black thoughts. So we're going to get it popping. Mm, Let's go. That. From Florida. From Florida. Got to represent for the whole black mind black. with great black thoughts. I like that. 
put out on a t-shirt. Merchandise mm-hmm. coming soon. Coming soon, baby. Oh, coming yes. Soon. Support your black owned business. For real. <laughs> Word. Send us your sizes and we'll, you know, reserve something for Word. you. Word. On some real oh, shit. And we got stuff for the ladies, too. On the real shit. Hey, we got stuff for the ladies, too. Physicsstudygroup.com coming real soon. Very real soon. soon. Very soon. Niggas just got to work We going to have on. URLs in these streets. Nigga. You understand? Mm. <laughs> niggas got web... Oh, niggas got web... Website. Yeah, niggas yeah. niggas yeah. got... You know, t shirts and, and things. And we have know. a special <laughs> delivery system. Um, Kawhi Leonard, you charge him up for a little bit and yeah. he drops it off at your house. Word. And there's your package. With a special- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What and please mean. don't get any water on the Kawhi. Word. It will mess up the motherboard. Word. We <laughs> drain the embalming fluid from his chambers and set him out there. And don't push the red button on the back of his neck. Word. Anytime he come out, of- <laughs> he'll laugh. <laughs> yeah. press that red button, he's he's just not gonna stop. He's gonna stay in front of your house. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see his interview after he hit the game winning shot to win the series? Not a game. This nigga won the whole series. Yeah, no. This no, nigga on the see. interview like this in a hoodie. You know niggas dress up in suits and everything. They in a hoodie with his straight backs. Yeah. Shout out to him for still rocking Yo, straight still back. Still rocking the straight backs. That's crazy. <laughs> straight through and his the, and, the, and the reporters like you know that's the first um uh. Uh, series winner in a game seven in NBA history. history. Like, mm-hmm. oh okay. <laughs> like he's the first person to do something. Yeah. So no one's in ever all done the years it. Of the like, NBA. As long as the NBA been out when it was playing in wicker baskets, yeah. nobody's yeah. ever done this. And he's like, oh okay. That's <laughs> crazy. This is crazy. Though. You own. Is it only, humble or he, is it? He owns the only game winning shot in a game seven. Like to end series. the series. To yeah. End the series. Yeah. That's crazy. I think you have to be like you have to act like you've been there before though. I have to be because, that kind of thing to not fall in the person. Let's be around this, in this society now. If you came out like, yeah, oh my God. No matter what you do, you're going to get criticized. I'm argue, well, I'm that's argue. true, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not condemning him for it. I'm just like, I'm going to argue this. Because Raylan's kind of the same way. I'm going to yeah, argue, yeah, yeah. argue this. With Kawhi's training, if you look at his coaching over the years, what he's been through, um, he's the type to probably save that celebration for the right moments. He's disciplined. Yeah, that nigga I get you that. disciplined. Yeah. That's why he played. That's why they call him a machine. That's why he look like yeah. a robot because he's disciplined. So he even discipl- he probably disciplines every facet of his life. This nigga said, you know what? I'm going to save this laugh for 124 days from now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I sound like laughing. This nigga. <laughs> Hey, I don't think he laughs yeah, yeah, for real. He, he smiled. <laughs> Did you see that weak ass smile boy. he had during yeah, the game? Yeah. Like he looked like nah, the smile. He looked no. like the smile he, emoji. He did get emotional when he, he hit the shot once though. every three years. Yeah, no, no. He, nah, when he hit the shot, you're like, Ooh. yeah, that's yeah. the craziest yeah. I've ever seen he him go. Bugged out, man. And shout out to Joel Embiid, you damn Embiid, you damn cry baby. Nah, you don't try all that shit. No, no, all that shit talking. Nah, he let's talk this toxic shit. masculinity. Man, fuck that. Mm-hmm. He was talking shit. Yeah. Y'all ain't talking shit about Michael words. Jordan when he was crying. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? You can't talk shit about Michael Jordan. You feel like yes, you should have cried in that moment? You, no, no. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to say... Cause, um, I don't know about his emotions. He was crying emotions. like a little girl. No, I, like, I understand why he cried. Because they went to seven games and they played so hard. And it won on three bounces. I understand why he cried. However, you got to pick a persona, though. That's my issue. You can't nah. be Mr. Talk Shit, I'm this. And no, but when it comes to emotions, that's the emotion, you have emotions, bro. No, you can have emotions, the but. The process ain't working at moment. I've never <laughs> seen Kobe cry. Kobe kept the same to me to win or lose. Kobe he probably like, cried in his wife's arm. But Kobe is a class A asshole, dog. Like, there's nobody else. Embiid like is him. trying to portray that there's asshole. Nobody he can't else. do it. He's still nah, but the thing nah. is, no, nah, but the thing is, you could you can be both, dog, because. When you look at niggas, like when you even look around your neighborhood, dog, the niggas that'll kill you are also the emotional niggas. Mm-hmm. That's you know passion. I'm, I'm not saying don't be emotional. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying don't be emotional. They'll go. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Ain't nobody gonna say shit. Because bro. when Bosch cried, oh, they tore him a new no, one. No, but Bosch already has. Oh, there's an excuse now. I don't want to have this conversation anymore. Bosch already has sus activity. What sus activity did he have? Not. He had presumed sus activity. What presumed sus activity? Mannerism. He did, he, not he had activity, su- mannerism. Sus mannerisms. My like bad, what? not activity. Mannerism. Really? What? Yeah, Are you really about to do this, bro? I this nigga explain. Really, all right. He's excusing no, 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 Joel no, no, no. Embiid so, for right, doing the same talk, thing. Since y'all want You're me, excusing you Joel Embiid. No, no, no. I'm not excusing yeah, you. Are. It's okay to cry. What I'm saying is it was, e- it was easier to pick on Boss oh. because it's, this it's nigga very easy to pick on Joel Embiid. I'm not trying I'm not trying you because Boss is just a fact. When you look at a nigga posture like this, he got his neck out, he got a little old bite, and this nigga like, man, fuck this shit, man. 
<laughs> you are making excuses. You excuse. tell me that shit don't look a little bit feminine? That- I didn't look- say Joel and B look feminine. First of all, he looked like Ducky from the I Land Before Time. <laughs> His lip was all slid <laughs> up and everything. Oh <laughs> Not Ducky, oh bro. <laughs> that nigga look like Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> and then in his like interview, you. oh, I don't mean to make, I don't mean to, I don't mean to make fun of method act, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean to make fun of people with accents, but when no, he does his after the game interview, when Joel Embiid does his after the game interview, oh my God, it's incredible. It, it, especially if you lose, uh, y'all, it, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> like, that's all you say, we didn't do what we had, it sucks. <laughs> like, it sucks. Oh, and also I'm a Heat fan, so fuck the 76ers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel you, I feel you now. Yeah, so it when it comes to that, you it know makes what I'm sense. It makes sense now. First of all, Go that nigga me. from Africa, so he don't got to question shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. You nigga, see, seven foot African. Like. Nigga <laughs> done seen some yeah, shit from a vantage right. point of seven feet. Imagine being seven feet in Africa. You, you see, see everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> you see everything. You Oh shit! shit. What I don't know what it, oh maybe shit. that what it, maybe nigga. maybe that's a part of Kawhi's story that he sees some shit that's like traumatizing him, bro. It's like he can hit a game with a shot like that ain't none compared to that <laughs> shit I seen. I was at when I was fifteen years old. <laughs> Actually, you ever played with his braids out? You ever played a game with his braids out? Not that I know. No, I First of all, that's that. like, has he ever got his braids rebranded? I don't know. Don't be the same. Don't be the same fresh braids from when they beat the Heat two out of fourteen. Bro, what you mean fresh braids? <laughs> them braids are dusty from he touched the court, bro. No, like, no. For some time. reason, when he went to Toronto, they got cleaned up. But no, for, maybe there's better hair braids. There's a closet. There's a closet. I, 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 I admit, I don't watch that much basketball. So the first time I saw Kawhi Leonard was when he when he was playing for the Spurs uh-huh. against the Heat. And I was, oh yeah, he had some dust buckets. I, I, dog, yeah. I remember the first time I saw him, like, who let this homeless man on the court? <laughs> like they looked like they just took some dude like, hey, we need we need somebody. You can play the ball. And he was like, kind of. Like, <laughs> what's worse? What's worse? Kawhi, those Kawhi braids or the rat brush cut? Uh, oh, yeah. the br- what? Bro, what? Yo, what? Bro, what? Bro, what? what is there to brush? That's not a brush cut. Bro. That's not a brush cut, <laughs> man. Oh, oh my gosh. That's, that's, like like that's, that's what you don't what you have. That's what you that's what you have when you don't brush. Yeah. No, no, it's. I think he has alopecia or something. Nah, I don't try that, nigga. Man. I think no, no. Maybe. Judging by the patch, he has patches. He doesn't have patches. Oh, I mean, you, no, you didn't see the middle of maybe his hair. Maybe he just has a lot of space between Google his, it. His, he, no, his hair. Follicles. He has patches. <laughs> no, I really <laughs> think he doesn't take care of it because he yeah. can't. How you know? How you know? I'm, either, I'm not even being mean. Either that. Either that. Either that or that nigga got like five D here, dog. No, that nigga hair look like ground beef. Yeah, big you Don't do that. That nigga hair look like ground beef. Respect on his name. All true. I think I might come hey, KD still man. KD though. He will, <laughs> he will score Patch on everyone in your family. Patch or not, it don't matter. Rasheed Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> he look, he looks like a, the Rasheed Wallace patches was different. It was just so distinct. No, it was like anytime I no. see it, it looked like it just happened. Nah, he, <laughs> that's nah, how his patch looks. Looked it looked like, just like. Nah, he looked like he had that since elementary school. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like he's born with it or some shit. Like it's but he had a oh, tape. Yeah. Just don't grow there. He had a patch, but he had a tape. Durant Yo, just decides to do nothing. He to make a fuck. Like he look in the mirror, like I'm rich. I'm probably the best basketball player. I'm gonna fuck this. <laughs> and just go to the court and give a fuck about all that shit. His hair, is, his hair is too high for people to notice. So it's like, yeah, like uh, who's, who's gonna jump? Word. Six foot of the like, like, only when he put a camera on there, he's like, oh, oh, what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. This man woke he, up one he day. does interviews in his hoodie. This man with, the, with the hood up? Word. He yeah. knows. He this knows. man woke up one day and said, I'm going to put this headband on, and ain't nobody going to notice this bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And then that one game he's playing. Uh, tonight, the NBA, uh, tonight, we're doing exclusives on headbands. <laughs> and they showed everybody's head. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Kevin Durant? <laughs> No, oh, but shit, I really I think his about status. Wallace, my bad. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Kevin Durant. <coughs> if, you could have, if you could have one person's hair, would it be Kevin Durant? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a LeBron, choice. You gotta, you gotta choose. Oh one. no. Either you gotta pick Kevin Durant, Le- LeBron James, or oh. Stevie Wonder. Oh, <laughs> I pick none. I'm going bald, nigga. For real. <laughs> I can pick it now. <laughs> oh, gotta, you gotta pick one. LeBron, who's the choice? LeBron, <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> Kevin Durant, or Stevie Wonder. I, I'm going LeBron because he had the headband. Remember, he switched it up with the mask mm. on the low. <laughs> Nobody didn't know he had the mask, but he didn't have a tape. But it was yeah, LeBron. LeBron bro. peep. He came with a mask. They like Batman, Batman, but nah, it was no tape. Man, no tape. Man. This nigga was like shit. LeBron. That nigga tape looked like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. But uh, I remember his headband got thicker and thicker every year. Nah, yeah, that, no, no. that shit almost, almost looked like a towel at one point. That was a, that was a yeah, like, oh, that nigga got a custom headband. This nigga wearing a, a turban? <laughs> <laughs> who you going with, Steve? Who you, who you picking? You got to pick one of those. Let me Wait, know young you Stevie or old Stevie? Yeah. Now we got old Stevie. Stevie, 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 Stevie now. Stevie oh, now. shit, man. Stevie though is at, 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 at Nipsey. Le- Rest in peace, I'll Nip. I'll take LeBron. That Nipsey. That was that Stevie. Yeah. No, his LeBron. his dreads look like they were trying to hair. fall off his head, but his head are like pulling him back. Bro, like, going nowhere. At least I can plug it up, you know. Stubborn dog. <laughs> nah, I would probably go Kevin Durant. After all that making fun of him, I I feel like it's easier to fix. Than all right, those be careful other what two. you wish for, nigga. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I go Kevin Durant because I all right. Let me just. Brush and oil my scalp for like three weeks. I'm sure Let's if see he what happens. Let's see I what think he had worse at sure. his time. I think at his time, you know, it's, it's too, too late. You, 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 if you try to care, we can talk about this man here like this long. It ain't right, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a part of the reason why I think he's dating a white woman. Oh, wow. Black women don't let that slide. <laughs> not at all. Black women do not what let that slide. To my what you gonna do Shut with up. your head? You're just gonna leave it like that? You got a hat or something? Shout out to all the women that be right next to their men. For we'll real. Right. Don't leave, don't let your man walk out looking like Kevin Durant. <laughs> Wait. Now let me stop. Though. Let me stop though. We never did talk about that Aisha Curry thing, but I mean it, it's too long now. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. She so, is snapping some women feel back. like that. That is, those are real feelings from uh-huh. a real person, and everybody want to know they still got it. Don't bullshit. That's all. And when you look and see your significant other getting all the attention, and you don't really get that much, it might be a sign that maybe the other gender or whatever is a little bit more respectful to the people that you've been encountering. Nobody thinks about that. She probably did, but... More often than not, you are gonna think as a human being, damn man, don't nobody want me. I nobody mean, she didn't really give a reason me. for it. Yeah, I, I I feel in that predicament, like you said, Curry is always in the spotlight. Yeah. Um, by Aisha Curry, if you see, they are their Instagram models, but I'm not saying they Instagram model. But when we see Aisha Curry, every time we see Aisha Curry, twenty five eight, she's dressed very conservative. Mm-hmm. When do you when do you guys ever thought to yourself, I can't Aisha Curry look bad today? Be honest. No, nah, see, that's the thing. Good. No, see, no, wait, wait. See, that's the thing. You're right and you're wrong. No, no, no. no she's right. a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful no, woman. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. Absolutely. But when did you ever, you ever see Beyonce? Respect to Beyonce and Jay-Z. And that, but when you see Beyonce, you're like, oh, oh my God, Beyonce. You, you see, ever thought to yourself? You're right in that because that's how, not all niggas, that's how majority of um, niggas are. They just see stuff on the surface. They see when you wear something tight or whatever. Like, right. Aisha Curry can dress in whatever. She'll still look good. I know, agreed, but she, uh, obviously that's her issue. She's looking good, but she's not getting the compliments, or she nobody's blowing up her IG and right. making her feel like she's not popping. Which we know she's beautiful. We're not exactly. It's it's just a it's, so it's we have to, so we she, should should, she should understand that. Okay, if I've been conservative, I don't know why she's feel like that. I think Steph Curry should you know should have recognized and should have as mm. a man to his woman should have you know had mm. that conversation before she went to the red table talk. But, yeah. but, all right, so, I think that's what most people are shocked so, about. So I, think I got, she I said got she had that conversation with him before. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say like if it's if that was an opportunity to open the conversation for other people to be comfortable with those feelings and be mm-hmm. open about it, then I get that. Then that's between them, mm-hmm. and they handled it because he came and he you know he dropped the post Y'all and that was yeah. it. That's and it. That's Why it. Oh, so that's he it. Say? He he, ba- uh, he was basically saying like yeah, you know you know being you thanks for being honest and you should feel how you feel. Oh yeah, like he validated. Yeah, he validated. Bob. And people, he didn't, and nah, the, let me not say, see, he didn't validate what the fuck her. you're supposed to exactly, do, bro. That, fuck through, all that ego <laughs> shit and all that bullshit people trying to talk, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. He shut everyone so they're up good. immediately. They're mm. good. Like, that's fine. Within the context, yeah. you got to take things within context. People mm. are so quick to react all the time about some shit. Like, or want to judge somebody about something. And if I'll piggyback off of that, what it shows you, if you got a, something with somebody, that also matters. Social media yeah. is going to... Now we live in a dead society. Mm-hmm. What somebody else says about you, what you have, your foundation, mm-hmm. people will fuck up what they have because mm-hmm. of social media. Social media is a facade. People show their highlights. Oh, absolutely. To, people show their highlights of their life. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. People try, when you try to compare yourself to somebody, you take away the joy of your life because you're trying to compare. Yeah, like, right. I like how Steph Curry stepped it up as a man. Shout out to Luke to the brother. Yeah. Right. Right. No, no, right. for real, Definitely for real. Definitely showing his woman, you should feel how you feel because everybody has feelings. Right. You should cry even if you're tall and seven foot, you can see over everybody. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I yeah. You feel me? Hey, you know what I'm talking about? You're right, but fuck Joel Embiid. Anyway. 
<laughs> anyway, no, no. But those, um, yeah, those are those are real feelings. She's allowed to have that because they've been, especially because they've been together a minute, bro. She probably yep. been feeling since that high way school. Back when since high school, like, come on, man, you with you with the light skinned nigga with light eyes. Of course, that you don't get more ball. attention than before you. Before Steph Curry had Afro, let's forget him and Dur- he had the, he had the, the Durant a little bit. His hair was looking. No, the thing with him, it was the shape of his head. I used to get Curry was riding shoes before he was shooting in the gym. She was there, so his head ain't shaped for that that type of shit. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, his head wasn't shaped for like a low cut. No. <laughs> but on the low, you know who's on also like that, but he's hiding it. James Harden, if he cut that mohawk. I guarantee you. I see it. Oh, yeah. you think? The Mohawk's he hiding it. He's oh, smart. He's, he's a very he smart man. He oh, yeah. Yeah, the cut of bear. Yeah, the bear is... Smart like is, a cheerleader. Yeah, he, he got a very <laughs> strong... <laughs> <laughs> How old is? But wow. as, as far as I used to the Curry thing, her, like what she's saying is very indicative of how this society is. Well, um, where we only get um, stimulated and we get joy from certain things. You only get likes from certain things. Girls mm-hmm. that's showing it. As that, and that's... What him right. and a lot of people are saying. That's why right. you're not getting attention. And trust me, you don't want that attention. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm that, saying? It's, like, it's not as good as it looks. Like yeah. I've, so we're I've, go through, I've gone through some of these girls' comments. These niggas are disgusting. Whether it's a yeah, joke or not, wild. They wild. Dog, they're crazy. Like some of the shit I wouldn't say to you during sex, let alone <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> word, word. Like niggas, niggas be saying, so I'm, gonna, so I'm like, I used to, you don't need that. I know, I know it may seem good, <laughs> but like you don't need that type of attention. Like these niggas yeah, are man. disgusted. Bro, yeah, I man. saw it's I'll, crazy. No, you, you speaking dead, dead facts. You don't need everybody's attention. Not For real, not at all. I yeah. was, I Girl, was, I was in the most disgusting place in the world, Twitter. And, um, <laughs> I saw this. This dude left a voice note. And this woman's like, oh, you that's, had, oh. did you hear that no, shit? Wait, oh, I couldn't finish it. Yeah, me neither. I couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish it. No, he, he was, <laughs> it was a, it was a so vile, bro. He was like, I'm going to have that pussy. What, what gripping and farting, gripping and farting. No, what the fuck? Bro. I thought you said <laughs> squirting and farting. He said, it was, <laughs> he said squirting and farting. Can we play this, dog? No, can we not? Bro, <laughs> it's, it's uh, it, at your own. I don't know what I'm talking no, that the shit room is for crazy. Niggas, maybe we shouldn't. Nah, yeah. bro, it was it was bad, dog. No, it was, was just bad. like, it was when bad. I, like, like it was. I, I was as as a, all right. So if as I a man it. who's seen, and enjoyed disgusting shit. Yeah, I was disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hey, that, that's the only way to put it. That's, 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 that's real shit. That's real so girl, trust me, you do not want this. And this was a this was a voice note, nigga. This, off the stress of what the, the, this yeah. nigga was saying, bro. I saw the, uh, No visuals. I was just like, oh. I saw this other one. You know that asking game on Facebook, mm. where like people ask you questions, stay anonymous. Oh, uh-huh. This this somebody's grandpa. Commented on this girl shit like how much for a piece of pussy, <laughs> and then his granddaughter come back. Please don't mind my granddaughter. Yeah. Like that shit was crazy. Oh my god! That family so it don't even matter the oh age, god. dog. Like that is no, no, it's no. just what happens when overly horny niggas get get bro, internet access. Bro, I, I that is, shit, bro. Right. And these old niggas are on there because they don't fully understand how the they internet don't. work. So they don't really get, you know. Yeah, they don't understand. Everybody we, can see you. you, you know, yeah, they don't understand that. You yeah, know you so got that be... uncle who accidentally posted porn twenty times <laughs> on Facebook. No. Oh yeah, all the time. Oh, <laughs> I'm my like, God. I'm oh, like, he doesn't oh, understand oh, that. Don't, that's everyone not, can see. Do you know this. that everybody sees that? Um, everybody sees this shit. <laughs> everybody, I watch this. But but weird. But weird. They take me off. But they take me press. Like, hey, at least so they, please at least keep your horny, you keep your horny open. Yeah. 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 They know what you like. That's for they, real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, over. like that attention is crazy. Boy, they know you like big booty. <laughs> for real. And like just keeping it house. Don't put it on the internet. Like yeah. every you don't understand. You can go viral like that. Word. Like I've seen like before this level of virality, <laughs> TPSD dictionary. This <laughs> level of virality. Niggas used to go um, viral for like saying stupid shit, like misspellings and shit like that. But now it's everything. Bro, niggas getting everything. jumped, niggas this yeah. like. So you gotta, but then it's all you, you gotta tone it attention though. That's the thing though. Nigga, yeah. Yeah. Before back then people was doing getting viral for like this mistake of just being you, but yeah. now people yeah. are doing the most craziest shit. Yeah, and just, they, just to go and, go they're gonna, and the funny thing, the crazy shit is they're gonna try to justify their truth. Say I'm not doing it for social media. Yes, you are. Like yeah, you, you want to be. The, I see some shit. Somebody's way so fucking blunt. But, but 
You, I oh, talked man. about that last yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, just. All right, I just appreciate it. Just, <laughs> just uh, I really that. Bro, and 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 that's why niggas gotta be more responsible. Every time, episode. every time you retweet yeah. something, every time you like it, you validate it. Though. Exactly. Even, even if you retweet it, mm-hmm. even if you retweet it just to laugh at that nigga, uh-huh. you 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 That's further in his message. Yourself. You know, re- yeah. Low key, you reflecting yourself. Low key. Yeah. 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 Like on Twitter, you're branding yourself. When yeah. you, Absolutely. When you see all some crazy shit, like, shit, you retweet it. All the people that they might not be your family member, but your friends or whatever, they see what you retweet it. What you exactly. Like. Word, word. Oh, that's what you would do. No, that's word. what you would like, do. It's not that fun. That's man. what you word. turn into. Who oh, you follow, <laughs> dog? Yeah. And then, oh, oh and you know, I, I don't want to go on too much of a tangent. But remember, employers go to your Twitter too, for sure. Yeah. Don't you try to get hired at Costco. It's like, oh, Mr. Williams, um, on April fifth, two thousand nineteen, you said you would suck a fart out of her ass. Is that true? <laughs> They will present this shit. So I got hacked. <laughs> and now hacked. you gotta go sell dope because you can't get it. <laughs> Word. Word. You gotta just... Because you wanted to suck a fart out of Word. Oh my God. Word. Yo, Yo man, since you seen your Instagram and you knew you have all that, you do get the job. <laughs> I know I hey. said some wild hey. shit. Hey, crazy hey. shit. Hey. Crazy hey. shit is happening. There you hey. know. Hey. There you know your man is about to be like, what does this say? I love my life. Wait. Hey. Be who you are. I like no, what I like. Really. <laughs> oh, man. You, you hired my whole self, and I appreciate that. Amen. And <laughs> one person Amen. I could commend on for being themselves. I can't believe I'm shouting this nigga out. Wow. Darn it. And it's not, it, I'm not hating heart. on him. I just never thought I'd shout him out. This nigga's so far. <laughs> but is it a shout out, out though? No, it is a shout out, because I respect it's what he did. Out. What did he do? <laughs> he was walking through, like, because I found out further information about it. He, he was walking through a, a fur rally, like right. an anti-fur rally. He was wearing a fur coat, and he was like, you, you know, um, counteracting the argument. He said, you were about me. Wait, wait, wait. I know where you're going to go. You said you were about me when this black man being killed. He was like, he's right. And a lot of people's qualms with it is like, oh, you bring it up now just to defend yourself. You want to mm-hmm. talk about it earlier type thing. You know what I'm saying? You're mm-hmm. just using it to use it. Right, but but then, then I heard he spoke at the thing. Yeah, he spoke. That's what KG but, told me. But basically, he came in there on some like, no ban on, he was starting to chant like, no ban on furs, we have rights on this yeah. shit. I love furs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got rights. And then, he was I, like, yeah, it wasn't me. He said, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Then this nigga said, focus on police brutality. Uh-huh. He said, focus on real issues. Mm-hmm. And somebody shouted something to him, and then he said, fuck you, Suck your mama from his chest. Suck. <laughs> I think he said mudda. Mudda. <laughs> he's out. He got his accent. He's been working. Ain't yeah, he's been working really hard. Word. He Shit. probably heard our podcast when we he were making vo- fun of his He got accent. a vocal coach from <laughs> Which episode was that? <laughs> was like episode 25. <laughs> no, but that, that, that was a good episode. I don't remember if that's the episode we said it. But. Yeah, I'm sure. Because that's all we do is good episodes. Right. Oh, I thought you were going to say all amazing. Oh. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Keep it up. Every I appreciate, time I I appreciate after, you, bro. Every time yeah. I tap in, I ain't going to lie. For the first podcast, I had to come here, bro. I fuck with y'all. Appreciate you, though. Oh, for sure. Don't be tapped in. Trust me. Hey, hey surprise compliments feel so good, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit. Everybody, 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 <laughs> you come around here and try to critique something. Everybody's a fucking, you know. Nah, y'all, y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Appreciate you, man. man. Same to you, bro. And you got to keep doing your thing, too. We're going to be at the Your presence. Much love, baby. Much love. With that voice you can hear from the 305. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That's the day. Question. I say 305. Watch, watch some early. Would you say South Florida has the best strip club in, in America? In America? Oh, in America? I don't know because I haven't been to a strip It's club It's either here or Atlanta. Outside the state. Yeah, maybe. it's here or Atlanta. Like, and that, yeah. One thing I noticed. Hands down. You've been to Houston or Vegas? No. I've been actually. I've been. To a strip I feel club like those Vegas. are like different and, levels. And it was, strip clubs. It was, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it was like. I don't think Vegas is known for strip clubs. None of the other than this is like prostitution yeah. clubs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I know for sure. As, as, as people from like, like South Florida, we were in there like unimpressed. Oh, when you went yeah, yeah, because we're yeah. desensitized. We're, yeah. we're not even desensitized. In Vegas, we're just used yeah. to quality. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? The quality down here is real. We're so yeah. used to it. If you go somewhere else at home where that moved to Cleveland, and he's like, yo, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, yo, what? The D class down there is oh, like something no. I would cuff. I said, hey, why? I see why LeBron came down to Miami, went back to Cleveland, and left. You feel me? Yeah. That's crazy. No, real talk. You don't have to go anywhere to two of the best strip club cities in. The USA, but, Miami, the FA. <laughs> but you don't yeah. even have to go that far to see how bad the disparity is. Because, like, once you get out of South Florida, it's over. Y'all remember, 
Two of y'all niggas remember oh when we God. went to Tampa for the Outcast concert? Yo, I got Bruh. people in Tampa. I fuck with y'all, but y'all strip clubs are. No, no, no. Let's awful. not say that. Let's Damn. not say that. Damn. The ones we went to. Let's not say that. The ones we went to are awful. We went to two strip clubs, right? The uh, first one, see. They, it was a full, you know, out, you know, liquor, regular strip club. We got some liquor. We ordered some drinks. We like, hold up. Why they ain't taking the bottoms off? Why they got nipple pasties on? We see, don't know what's going no, on. No, see, you not even. All right, wait, we gonna get to that. <laughs> Should no, I tell it? No, you passed right. it, bro. No, no, no. So, so but first of all, oh, and the awkward <laughs> strippers. How did we get there? No, not even. How did we get I mean, there? Bro. <laughs> first, first niggas oh, in history to do this. Because this nigga didn't first nigga, go. First <laughs> nigga, first <laughs> nigga. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna mention that, but yeah, I, I was a, I was completely against this movement. <laughs> you know oh no, not that. You know what I'm saying? But not even that. But these niggas called strip clubs. These niggas picked up their phone. Picked up their phone. I heard people laugh as they picked up their phone. They're like, hello? Like, they they probably blew dust off the phone to pick it up. They probably got the landline there just for internet purposes. The the dial phone. (laughs) No, you got to take it within context. One of our homies, I ain't going to say his name because we ain't going to talk about how unprepared this nigga was for this trip. Cause he ain't packed. Any- <coughs> this man did not pack pants. Nah, he, said his name. he only packed shorts. That's a man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I can't. Only, I ain't gonna do only, it. To only, him. Only, <laughs> only jean shorts. And he been on the podcast. Oh, Mr. Oh, 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 I ain't gonna do it. So I'm gonna play on jean shorts. No, it was. Say his name. Nah, nah, nah. So this man only had shorts on this trip, and he was just like, I thought we was only gonna go to the concert. So fuck it. So we had to call these clubs, these strip clubs that we were going to, to make sure that That's he could such get a wild in. Sentence, we're like, yo, do you guys allow shorts? <laughs> and people be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Because and we didn't so, want to get there and to get turned So that's around. why we call the strip club. It's like, hey, do y'all You might as well, can we wear sweatpants? <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> naked okay? <laughs> Underwear required. That's probably a weird ass question. They probably thought we were wearing like Daisy Dukes. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, I think some male strippers call us. <laughs> but, but back to the story. We inside a strip club and it's rather awkward. Mm-hmm. And you know how strippers walk around after they get off stage. Yeah. And we had a stripper very politely approach us. Mm-hmm. Awkwardly. With her hands, <laughs> she had her hands together. Yeah, like she and was about she to was come tell like, us about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> she said. It. She bent down. She was Excuse like, "Hey me, guys," sir. she was very, she was mad stiff, and she said, "Hey guys, um, would any of you like a dance?" <laughs> and we were just like, "Oh," <laughs> like, "No thanks, we're all right." We're just hanging out. It was like. Okay, well, fine then. <laughs> we were like, oh shit! <laughs> like she was hot. She kind of stormed off. She was like, for real. <laughs> she was offended, and we thought we were polite, and we like, always yeah. do. So then we went and asked the bartender, like, how come um, we have nipple pasties? They said, oh, because it's full bar. I'm like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> she said, we from Miami. We only been to strip clubs in South Ooh. Florida. Full t- <laughs> she, full bar, she, full other I'm things thinking too. that's how tainted oh, we are. Yeah. We think everywhere else is like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking strip club, like, yo, what's a strip club? So, so, so let me so then, let me premise this <laughs> by saying I was seething before we even walked in this the man door. Was so upset. <laughs> Carry on. So upset. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> setup was nice though. It was like a, a yeah, we mirror watched, house. We so watched the rest of the game. Place. I mean, okay. I did watch the rest of the game. That's nice. Yeah, the game was like there was, yeah, was, like, there was like, like nice. There was a lot of mirrors all over the place. There was a lot of there was about a quarter of the screen blocked out of the TV. The pixels were fucked up, but you know it was a good game, and um. We realized the the bartender told us that it's if it's full bar, it's not full nude. But if it's full nude, it can't be full bar in Polk County. So oh, that's like, wild. See, you so they can what, only serve. They can't. I don't even think they can serve beer. They have like fucking cold. yellowtail. We gonna get to that. So, <laughs> so we gonna get to that. It, it, some wild shit would have to happen for it to get there. Imagine. Yeah. Consistent, yeah. consistent. So we were like, oh shit, shit, we gotta. Yeah. But, so like, then that's we, how wild nights happen. It's just strange. It was like, we can't give y'all niggas alcohol and, and, and naked women at the same time. So, yeah. You've that's proven crazy. to be too irresponsible. So think about that. That's wild. Obviously, as a young man from South Florida, my next question was so. Where's the strip club with full nude? <laughs> Automatically. <laughs> and and she nude. says, right. up the street. It's the next strip up club. Up the street. Up. It was we next door. We think it's like up the block. No, nigga. It bro, was like I a mile, two miles dumpster. up the street, bro. Nigga, I ran into the dumpster <laughs> no. when I walked out. The it place, was another bro. BJ's warehouse turned into We us. walked there, bro. It was like next. <laughs> so anyway, we get there. It's a cover. 
We didn't get into that. We get inside. First of all, the parking, <laughs> we the parking lot that. was like very, very narrow and long. It's like, you sure you want... That was the decision making walk. Mm -hmm. That's why the strip clubs are empty. It wasn't so that bad, guys. you like, fuck this. It wasn't that bad. It. Be adventurous. We, had, we, we had were in a different so town. Many opportunities <laughs> to back out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, was, but guess what? We got a story out of it. So continuing on. When we get inside, we're going to skip all that other bullshit. No, 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 no. Not being long winded. Detail. What you detail? the details. So when you walk in, you know, some strip clubs have that separate room you pay and then you walk in and see yeah. the strip club. Other strip clubs are open. This one had a veil, so we could. If I would have seen <laughs> what you're about to explain from jump, I wouldn't have walked in. Well, yeah. So they know what the fuck they was doing. Yeah, and, and guess what? The and they got us, and we learned. Yeah. You moved the curtains in <laughs> mediocrity. It was a five dollar <laughs> mistake for <laughs> each of us. It's not that bad. You pulled the curtains <laughs> mediocrity. All, no, all right, they, let me and get to it. Aspect. Let me get to it. I'm gonna paint the picture for y'all. So we. <laughs> We, we walk in with grimaces on our face. I ain't going to tell why. And we got why. coupons <laughs> in the last club. Sorry. And we got coupons okay. in the We got fucking coupons. coupons. So we walk, Johnny, will you let me tell the story? I mean, dramatic. About strip club coupons. <laughs> so we walk inside, and in the middle, it's, a, it's basically a huge rectangle of a room. And in the middle is a rectangular strip, um, a stage, stage right? Yeah. With like two poles. To the left in the corner is the bathroom. Behind the uh, the stage is the DJ booth. Next to the bathrooms <laughs> is a pull-out picnic table <laughs> with Tupperware <laughs> and a nigga making crepes out of hot plate. <laughs> Dead ass. And he was Dead selling fruit. And he was selling fruit. In the strip club. And making omelets and shit. <clears throat> in the middle of the strip club. And we thinking, uh, uh, this is odd. All right. But we in here, right? Yeah. So we look to the right. I look behind the bar. I'm like, all right, what are we going to have to drink? Damn, they ain't got no beer. They got strawberry Fanta. Okay, we got pineapple Fanta, yellow tail. Damn. This shit sucks. I should have never Bro, that shit here. was like a candy store for adults. They, they had gum, They had 25 chips, cent chip Snickers. bags. What? They had 25 cent it, Cheetos bags. It sounds bags. insane, It right? was weird Bro. as fuck. I would say, no, living from South Florida and visiting South Florida, I would say, I think South Florida just is, is a different state. It was state. weird as fuck, though. It is. I think after it West is. Palm Beach, oh so, yeah, it's, it's a whole different territory. It's a whole and it's not different. Even, that's not even right. right? Not even you, 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 okay. in, you in the country? And after, and after home we said that Key West right. is a different. It, it's right. like, right. island. That's just like yeah, yeah. Okay. And remember, that's white people Caribbean. So we all get our <laughs> orange. <laughs> <laughs> so we all get our orange fanta. <laughs> oh my god! And our and our and our red <laughs> wine yellow tails. Hold on, that's a Guatemala. <laughs> Hell no. no. And so, <laughs> meanwhile, we walk in to go find a seat at a table, and two strippers start fighting over the ones that's oh, on the stage. stage. <laughs> no, one fighting, was, like, one was like still dancing. She walked up and he tapped her, like, bitch, move. <laughs> like, trying to collect my ones. Like, I'm not done. The song ain't done. They, was square, they were squaring up. <laughs> no, they squared up. It was crazy. Yeah, it was uh, wild. And then, wild. halfway through, we're like, all right, we thinking, we sitting to ourselves. We're like, man, we falling asleep. I fell asleep. Yo, we should probably, <laughs> we should probably go home now. And I kid you not, the DJ said, we got hookers till 6 a.m. <laughs> and then everybody looked around <laughs> and everybody was like, say, did he just say that shit? What did he just say? And what did he do after? He yeah. repeated himself. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Hookers until 6 a.m. o'clock a.m. And I'm like, this Prostitutes. is the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> he I, did not just <laughs> say that shit. I'm, so I'm, we've been, I'm, I'm, <laughs> he did not just say that shit, my nigga. No, so we finished our Shirley Temples and left. <laughs> our Shirley <laughs> 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 Temples. Uh, our Fanta's. <laughs> our Fanta's. Oh, we finished oh, it was our, so our, 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 uh, our Sprite's. I was, I was in there as if... In a semi lucid dream, like, why the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I was am like, I no, this isn't real. But anyway, I, I took an edible, like, this is the result. This and, is what this is. And that's our Tampa strip club story. Word. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Um, why <laughs> does. <laughs> nah, man. But, yeah, but terrible. I, like Look, I said, this, you're living and learning. Don't go to Tampa strip club. Word. Yeah, you're living well, the ones word. we went to, I'm sure that's the city like, has word. better. Word. Hopefully. But no, hopefully. It'll be an experience. Laguna. Talk to me. Bro, this music. How you feeling? Out of nowhere. It's amazing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> we're talking like, you know, before, you know, we started recording. So, you know, you it's it's something you kinda of been playing with for a while, but mm. you, you you started taking it serious. Yeah. So what what made you what made you take it serious now? Yeah. Just knowing that I love it. And anything you love, you should definitely especially if you got talent. 
Mm. I'm not going to hear and say everything, everybody just do what you want. I feel like anybody can do anything they want, especially if you got talent in it. Uh, and I started making music, my first song recording when I was 15. Uh, and I recorded one of my boys on the studio, and he was 19 at the time, and he went to college. Mm. So I recorded, and I was just recording that just because it was free time. I mm. had no football practice in one of his house. Right. And then he like he invited me to one of his parties. And I just, I didn't think of it like as a college party at the time. I just thought it as, you know, it was my neighbor party. Mm. It, my cousin <laughs> came, he came, for, he came. I was living in West Newmont at the time. Shout out to Westside. Mm. But my cousin came, Bam. Y'all know Bam. I don't think y'all remember Bam. But he came down from Broward at the time. He came down. And that night, he was, he was lit. <laughs> one night I just may still start drinking. So I was like, yo. Oh. <laughs> but I, that, that, that my first night I ever drink, like I took one drink and I was like, yo, I was wild as shit. <laughs> I don't even remember the night. I just remember they played they played my song, but I didn't care about the song because like at the time I'm not thinking about being I'm in school playing football. Mm. That was my dream. I love football. So mm. Big Cowboys fan right here. What's up? Oh, you already know. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Oh, no. <laughs> but no, listen, so they, they the song, the game, the song, they played the song and whatnot. The song was good. The next day, my cousin came to me like, yo, you know they replayed your part and the whole house party was saying your old part. But I thought like, man, whatever, man. You reason I don't remember. I just talk, I don't care. Mm-hmm. But you know, you know, at that moment, you know, back in the days, everybody I feel like everybody wanted to do music. And mm-hmm. I'm person I don't like oh, being, yeah. I don't like being labeled as just a mm-hmm. music or just a rapper, and especially what everybody's doing. I don't like stick following the crowd. I think nowadays everybody by trying to follow something. Mm-hmm. But now, just seeing that over time, me doing other stuff, I did photography, I did, you know, mm-hmm. the party business, I did all type of stuff, business wise, selling merchandise. I always see myself going back to music because music is timeless. I feel like music talks to everybody. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I have all type of friends, all type of, you know, if I, as, as family. You feel me? It doesn't matter what color, race. If you're a good person, you have a good heart. That should be, you know, keep in contact. But we can't always keep in contact all the time because you got to do what you got to do. You got to yeah. do what you got to no, do. Yeah, absolutely. You feel me? We go way back. Sure. But every time we link, it's like the yeah, family it's the vibe. Same. You feel me? It don't change. But I feel like with music, though, you always have some, you know, I could tap in with y'all, with y'all interview. Yeah. Like, you feel me? And I'm like, okay, I see what right. y'all up to. How y'all felt with Nipsey? I salute y'all for doing that Nipsey yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Salute Nipsey. Sure. Nipsey Paradise King. Salute that, man. But, um, for sure. but I feel like my type of thing, especially when I was doing the photography, I feel like music, though, music is so powerful. But my thing is, I don't want to take the same route as in just, you know, what well, as the common artists don't want to take Duke to a path that I'm okay with. So I know I'm okay with the end of the result because I did what I want to do. And that's that, that's what I'm doing. Man. Gotcha. No, absolutely. Right, so, right, right. so you blessings, want to, blessings. Yeah, you want to take that um that independent route. Where, yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. You, you take you take the wins, you take the loss, you take everything. Yeah, you right. learn like, from it. It's all on you. Absolutely. You learn, you take absolutely. Lessons. Yeah. Word, like word. that father lesson, y'all but, example. Word. <laughs> I think it's like, you don't, you don't need it. But, but not only that, you have like a, a lot more control over your product, over, it's your creativity, you have control, you have creative control over your mm-hmm. shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so you, you, you've already tried your hand in different areas, so you can apply that knowledge you have into music. Yeah, especially, yeah, especially, it's definitely, especially you bring that, Especially when your family supports you, when they that's and they, what's up. And you that's bring major. Your family, yeah, and they're like, they like it, and they're like, why don't you bring up your photography in it? Why you don't bring you you talking about this other? It's like okay, it make mm. you sit down. That's and think, Why don't? Mm. And you have these friends, and it's time I you know in your twenties, y'all. Everybody wants to the friends. I I keep myself around when everybody wants to be entrepreneur, do their own thing. Mm. Doesn't want to work for somebody else. Mm. I can't you know for all my life be you know so right, all right. our friends we were building this foundation. All my homeboys have things that we could just incorporate with music. Like I said, yeah. mm. it's all type of songs with black and yellow. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa that ties yeah. into football. Mm. You yeah. know what I mean? And he's but he's known as a stoner. Anything music mm. like I said, music brings people together. Yeah, true, true, true. Shout, that's real talk. Yeah. Message. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, and you've been doing this for a little while too, because you. I know. I know you've been playing with it for a little mm. while. Mm. Like I remember years ago, you dropped this like freestyle on Unthinkable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that little Salute Alicia, that Alicia you, Keys, that's crazy. that little Alicia <laughs> Keys shit. Oh, this man came in like, hey, play this shit, play this shit. And that's one thing you always did though. You always, when you do something, you you put it Passionate. out there, bro. Yeah. You yeah. put it really out shit. there. Like, but I remember that, man. Like I remember stuff. talking with you about it, man. So. It's it's funny. It's it's like not it's not funny, but it's dope to see you come back and continue with that because you do have a voice. You have potential. I mm-hmm. I, I believe you got some talent, man. Mm-hmm. And the more you the more you hone that shit. Cause like right. I'm a hip hop. Everybody know I'm a hip hop head, mm-hmm. and I'm mad critical of shit. And you know we've had personal conversations mm-hmm. about this shit. But like yo, you got a voice, man. So the more you tune that shit, it's gonna be crazy. Nah, salute y'all. You, you know, just saying that you being a real hip hop head. That's why yeah. I came to you guys. Cause you guys. 
you guys really better dope foundation. You guys know music. Appreciate you guys you. don't just talk about music. You guys don't just talk. Y'all switch up the topics and y'all guys are yourself. Y'all stand for something. Mm. So it's right. different people saluted, salute everybody that been reaching out doing interviews, but it, I feel like it was only right coming to somewhere that you, you know, that's like that's family. You that's feel right. me? No, and of course. Yeah, especially yeah, y'all created the foundation for having me. So we're gonna yeah. make sure that shit just keep going from there, yeah. you feel me? So yeah, when that right, shit right, at the top, you come back and let me know that shit we did that. Yeah. My mom right, 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 made right. history, baby this <laughs> exactly. history. Word. Yeah, you know, you know word. you always got a home at the physics study group. Much word. love. Word. Yeah, yeah, for sure, it's love. Word. It's been love. And it's all about, like, nowadays it's all about being, like, multifaceted and, like, mm-hmm. having your hand at, in different crafts and, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be just this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see, even, we were talking about Idris Elba the other day, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he, DJ, actor, rapper. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Do it all, you know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely, bro. You got talent for it, dog. Like, go for it. No, yeah, I, would def- I would definitely say, yeah, don't make nobody label you. I was watching uh, on an interview about a documentary about The Rock. I love The Rock when I used to watch wrestling. My heart yeah. broke when I found out the wrestling was fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I think that's so, all of us. It's a but, big TV show. But I think we all can agree now, like, The Rock is maybe the biggest actor now. That right now, yeah. He's the yeah. highest paid At actor. first, it was action, but now it's just period. Yeah, he's the highest paid yeah, actor yeah. right now. But yeah. at the time, he was one of the biggest wrestlers. He was, you know, mm. and at the time, he, he was thinking, okay, I can't wrestle for the rest of my life. You can't be 50, 60 years old. Yeah, no, no, no disrespect for whoever's doing that. Mm. Make, you got to feed your family. But he didn't, that was not okay with him. Word, and word. when his last match, he, was, he broke his bone, he kept going, and then after finally, he broke his back. And he's like, yo, am I going to go fix and go back wrestling? Mm. Or am I going to, he said, I had to go back. I think he's over, I don't know, no, give him a mistake, but he's like, he started from scratch and start with the movie. And mm. at first it was, you know, it was bottom, but you see where he did. If, if people go through changes in their life. Yeah. Right? I feel like now, nowadays, people won't, won't allow you to change. Like, mm. now I remember mm. Charlamagne said something like, now society won't make Malcolm Little be Malcolm X. Yeah, like, yeah, you just say people, yeah. people will bring up your quick to bring your past, but they don't yeah. have a past. Mm-hmm. But I gotta tell people, yeah. just slip, slip up what you who you are. You feel yep. me? Yeah, but I, re- I remember when he was like phasing out of wrestling, and people, yeah. people, people were like saying he was making a huge mistake. Mm. Oh, yeah, of course, because they didn't believe in his in his people, acting skills as much as he did. People, Everyone, that's people, another thing. Because people are looking at it from like an athlete standpoint. You're like. Yeah. Why are you leaving? You're still in your prime. You could you could yeah. still wrestle for years, you know, and then still have a longer career than this. But he was like, nah, my my vision is bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In hindsight, now it looked obvious, but at the time people were like, bro, what are you doing? Like you're the biggest name in wrestling and you're yeah. just gonna step he away. He walked from out on shit. top. Yeah. Society will always try to pigeonhole you. Like look at um Childish Gambino, Donald oh, yeah. Lover, right? When he was on community, one of the most, you know, highly rated, you know, cult follow shows mm-hmm. in, in history, mm-hmm. right? And they were like, you when he was deciding to leave, they were like, you're gonna leave this show. Like you got a gig. We're gonna keep going. Like the mm-hmm. community is not dying. It's only getting bigger. And the creators of community are the creators of Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. And oh. <laughs> and um and they write it. They wrote both too. And um fun fact, the Russo brothers who directed Endgame and the other Avengers movies also directed the first couple of seasons of of that, show, of that show as well. Of community. Anyway, yeah, yeah, of community. Right. And they try to pigeonhole you, um, people like uh, Donald Glover. And mm. so when he quit, they, people thought he was crazy. Yeah. Like, mm. you know? And now look, he went on to become a Grammy nominated winning art. I mean, Grammy winning artist. I'm going to say with Grammy, Grammy winning artist, right? Mm. He already got Oscars from writing. I mean, Oscar, what am I saying? <laughs> Emmys. No, Emmys from yeah. writing Emmys. for 30 Rock. And it's like, he up for so he's though. a perfect example of somebody, and he's a good example for young millennials too. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, yo, it doesn't matter even what you, what age you at. Because yeah. mm-hmm. like, Idris Alba is still an old, kind of an older dude mm-hmm. than us. But like, someone like him, it's like, oh, now nah, we could really do it. We just need yeah. to work. Mm-hmm. We just need to work yeah. at it. So keep that mentality, and right. we'll be straight. No, of course, of course. I love the fact y'all bring it different. Like, billionaires, people that just switch their things up, make me, or, I don't know if you want to stay on the same topic, but like, Talk about um, Hugh Hefner. He used to work for Esquire, which was like was a mm-hmm. lifestyle magazine for the young male back in the day. Mm-hmm. And then he went to um, he wanted he felt like he could do his own thing because he couldn't freelance like, the way he wanted after he got promoted. Mm-hmm. So he wanted to create his own thing. And then when he wanted to create his own thing, his mom gave him a thousand dollars. She didn't she didn't like it, but she supported her son with a thousand dollars at mm-hmm. that time. You know, mm-hmm. so. That's a lot which of money was, back yeah, then. Back then <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he did he did so much for the black community. Back then he gave he gave Malcolm X an interview and people didn't like what it mm. so excited didn't like what, what Malcolm X said, but they tried to sue him for that was the first magazine that it was a male on the on the seat on the bed with a woman. 
They try to sue him, and after that, mm. after that, in that whole case, they're trying to sue him. He got Martin Luther King lawyer. And after that case, <laughs> yeah. they, dro- they dropped the case because JFK got assassinated. So so much wow. they dropped the case. They dropped the case. So wow. that little petty shot you have from the dead wow. to be petty, he went back and interviewed Martin Luther King. So mm. like, okay, you didn't like that one. Is you dropped the case, waste my time and money. Mm. Let me go ahead and interview Malcolm X, Martin Luther King in that magazine. So he interviewed like, Martin Luther King and put it in the Playboy. Magazine. Not Malcolm X. No, he he interviewed Malcolm X, mm. and, and then they, he interviewed. They sued him. They sued him, but they said it wasn't for that. But really, because Malcolm mm-hmm. X, he was saying stuff like he was called like the White Devil. Out of yeah, Malcolm X. yeah. And then in, in his documentary, it's like his writers like, do you want to post this? You have man. He was like, that's his thoughts. That's how he felt. That, mm-hmm. Like my like Aisha Curry, that's her feeling. That's his mm-hmm. thought. So why not? Why yeah. say why not? And this thing as, as a man, mm-hmm. he he still wanted to post it because that's you know and spreading shedding light on that man and how mm-hmm. he felt for the community. And then after the fact mm-hmm. of that, he I didn't even know that he interviewed Good. Martin Luther King. He interviewed Martin Luther King after his his case was dropped. And so little stuff like that. That's crazy. Sure, when you look up to make sure you stand by. And, Dang, you know, that changed it. my whole perception of Hugh Hefner, though. I just thought of him as old as him. Everybody yeah. see a persona. Oh, somebody. Our media's tailored, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, what we get is tailored. No, no, absolutely. A- absolutely. Our news is tailored, man. So that's yeah. uh, something like that can easily be, get swept over, you know, mm. and looked over. Especially when you come from a household that believes in, like, particular morals or yeah. religious yeah. background. Mm. You ain't gonna know shit that's about Hugh Hefner, man. That's true. I ain't know about that shit. Hugh Hefner was simply what he, like, died as when I first seen him. Yeah. Like, he was just the, the Playboy the guy. Playboy dude. <laughs> Who he wanted to be. Mm. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you if you had to choose, like, who who would you say are, like, your main inspirations why you got into music? Like, you yeah. saw this person on a video, you heard the album, you was like, damn, they make me want to do this shit. Honest, that's Wayne, Pac, Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course. Biggie and the Nipsey really made me like, okay, this independent uh-huh. is definitely, that's the route. That, oh yeah, big time. That, that's definitely the route. Mm-hmm. He's a master P of this generation. Yeah, you gotta be, yeah. the, you see them artists, that little three, mm. six, them deals. Yeah. Like Prince yeah. changed his name to, to the artist formerly named Prince because mm. he wasn't getting no money mm. as named Prince. Right, mm. exactly. Like, that's crazy. Exactly. I remember, that's that's yeah, was, I remember that shit same. not understanding not it either. And now they disrespected the man name by um, releasing music. He said he wouldn't he release. He didn't want to stream it. He didn't want to stream it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now and now they, they, now they yeah. streamed it out. And then when you down. own your money, your, your music is like your child. You take time mm-hmm. and all yeah. that money. Yeah. And so that's all that's your emotions. And knowing you know that you have to tour for the rest of your life, 50, 60, 40, like back mm-hmm. to the rock situation. Do you mm-hmm. really, Music is beautiful and time, but do you want to be on tour mm-hmm. at 40, 50? Hopefully you have a family, you have a foundation yeah. at home. You don't right. want to be on a road like that. You got to get in the business. Right, right, right. You got to own your shit so you can get, get your residuals, right. get you paid off the stuff you made so that the company that funded you does not get paid off of your... And it's less stress on you if you're doing it yourself. Like you, like you don't have to worry about people you hire. Like I right, hired this nigga. This I got to worry about him stealing money. I got to worry about her stealing money. Mm-hmm. Da da da. You keep everything yep. in house. You have you have a you um you keep a track of it. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know everybody that's doing what and everything. You know what I'm saying? Get get these crackers out of your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> and and to touch on the Nipsey Hustle thing, he's like. The masterpiece of this generation in the sense that he did the independent thing different. Like he made he did it on a bigger level. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he yeah. was setting it up to be um I don't know if you say he was a master P yet, mm-hmm. because he was setting it up to be that. Mm-hmm. Master P had like all of his artists was going platinum in the nineties. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they were getting all that money. And it was eighty twenty deals. They was getting they, his artists was getting eighty percent of their money, man. Off of real, yeah. them sales, platinum albums, dog. Yeah. Niggas mm-hmm. that ain't have songs on the radio, yeah. only in the hood. Only. And they started a style. They yeah. started a revolution. Well, of course, yeah. but but also <laughs> people, a lot of people don't know about Master P. He lived in the Bay for a little bit. He lived out there. He, he went uh, moving. He yes. was hustling That's his it. CDs yeah. out, his yeah. trunk out there. That's when he made. I think he made Ice Cream Man and shit. If I'm not mistaken. Um, well, but anyway, not, yeah, not to that. not yeah. to pre- you know not to go too much off topic, but like. It's not wrong doing it, independent. Do, doing it independent. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many ways to do it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, because I used Especially to listen now. to people from who's out there mm-hmm. in the Bay. I, um, Hieroglyphics is an independent crew. Big shot and Hieroglyphics. You, a lot of people down here never heard of that I was listening to in high school. And them boys sell out shows. They sell. They go overseas, and they could tell you about the entire world. And they niggas from the hood. Yeah. And they got <laughs> a perspective on the world now. And now they expand, and they, they, they teach the young people, too. You know, they, they mm-hmm. share that knowledge. And um, so, and that's all off just being independent and off mm. the strength of your own creativity and saying, believing in yourself and your mm. heart and saying, you know, I, I could make money off this, yeah. you know, 
I don't need I don't need an entity to support me on this. That's what that um that's what this generation is. They want that quick satisfaction. They want the mm -hmm. they want to blow up one song and then a record label sign with six mm -hmm. albums that they know they're not gonna it's finish. But mm -hmm. it's even better. But, about these but the record label waved those million dollars in their face. Like, but remember, you gotta pay that back and all the you know stipulations and everything. But make, but they mm -hmm. get the money quick. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to grind. Mm -hmm. The thing with Nipsey. Like a lot of people just see him raise, like he grinded, like he did shit like build his own computer and yeah. him and his exactly. brothers hustling and well, those report It's not just story. grinding though. It's having well, no, no, no. it's it's exercising your intelligence. It's, not, it's, it's well, applying no, yourself. Everything that you learn, I'm not reading. just letting it go in out the other ear. Actually hearing some shit, thinking about it, finding mm. it intriguing and say, you know, I'm gonna try this or mm. I'm gonna try to apply this to something I did. And when it works, then that's how you level up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I agree with you. Right? So, it's it's exercising intelligence, and I think it's training your mentality that life is a war. It's not just a battle. Exactly. It's like, yeah. like you could drop that hit tomorrow. You could drop that hit and tomorrow. And sound, it's nothing to make a hit on Apple Music. We've seen mm -hmm. songs that their husband played, played in 10 years and out of nowhere, it's a hit. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. wasn't used <laughs> to that money, and you get a million dollars, it's easy to blow sure. out and burn oh, out. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. You see it all the time. You, mm -hmm. Like you said, if you exercise that intelligence and mm -hmm. train that mentality that life is a war, mm -hmm. when that time when the, the blessings start coming, you already know mm -hmm. how to be ready it. for it. Right, right, and Gunplay right. even talked about that before. Mm -hmm. You know, he was saying like he wasn't ready for the blessings. That's why he didn't get it. Like, okay, like, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Fat. He didn't Gunplay. say it. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say those exact words, mm -hmm. but he was like, you know, he was like, it don't matter if you ain't. He basically said, if if you ain't ready for it, God not gonna bless you. Amen. Period. It don't yeah. matter what Amen. you're doing or where you at or if for people real. think you deserve it. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready for it, God not gonna give it to you. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, and that's preparation. Absolutely. Keep faith, yeah. always. That's preparation. Word. Always. Yeah. That's so, protecting you. You know, always yourself. grind. So, but it's not just about the hustle too. The music is quality. You know, and that's why that's he's one of your inspirations too, because the music's good. It's yeah. not just trash. Yeah, you know, music. so that's why he's able to inspire you, like you know. And I was growing up on good music. Yeah. I think we grew raised in the Caribbean house, so we mm. know the old school. You know, all type of music: James yeah. Brown, yeah. Bob Marley, yeah. Michael Jackson. You, you always yeah. playing some music. You know, man. so always, all yeah. those have instruments. Those mm. are tied into right. the trap music that we right. brought. Oh, through. absolutely. All yeah. the uh, Zay told all those the, top producers they play the top instruments. The spirit of the rhythm. As, as a that. music, yeah. as a person, you should be a student of life. If you mm. love music, I'm a student of this game every day. So you already know it's only mm. right. I'm gonna get better every day. So we're sure. gonna make we're gonna make a movie. Definitely. For sure. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Literally and figuratively. Facts. <laughs> okay. Wow. So would you say those inspirations are like your top five that are alive? Yeah, that's that that my top five that are alive. Not not great question. So, so you said Wayne, Wayne, Jay, Jay Z. Pac, Pac, Biggie, Biggie. Nipsey. That's a serious. What about y'all? What's your top five? I thought with you, I thought Pablo Escobar. Hard ass name. That is a hard ass. When I heard that, I scratched my head like, I wish I thought of that. It's, it's, it's to it's to compete with Boomer When I heard when I heard Barack Obama, that heard that yeah. <laughs> that's at the bar. That's how I came up with Lao Pa. I used to rock break. heavy too. Yeah, yeah you were. Oh, oh, yeah. When I was president, oh, yeah. that'd be all. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I heard that. I, like, oh. I was like, okay, that's Ciroc the standard Obama. we trying to we trying we're to trying achieve. To say. <laughs> yeah, word. that was a dope ass name. Word. Bro. All right, so my my top five, um, Ludacris. Mm. Okay. Um, shout out to the South. Word. Big shout out. Word. Um, I'm going to just save some room and, and put Outcast as a unit. I'll be that's that's a good. Good. Nah, you got to pick one. Yeah. Nah, that's Dunn not fair. Shut up. That's not I'll fair. You that's we know who you're going to pick one. I understand. Stand your ground, nigga. Stand your ground. Pick one. No, because see. Pick see. Because I do one exam. Shout out to the South. See. All right, so South see, got something to say. That's all I got to say. It's, it's three stacks, but Big Boy ain't behind by ain't no, no short ain't ain't Never like, will be. Never will be. The mm -hmm. man bar is still infinite, dog. I mean, yeah. tapping on the album, they was nasty. Bro, I mean, level. Nasty, nasty rap. Group. They blended You so just well. ain't yeah. catching. Bro, bro, and like, Big Boy's verses, like, and the way he flowing on a beat, bro. Mm. Yeah, like, no one can like do a it. pimp. Nobody wrote a beat like, like Big a Boy. Like a pimp. So like Ludacris, Outcast. Outcast. Um, mystical. Oh, take my Damn. shit, man. Mystical. Yeah, no, 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 no. I want to switch hey, my shit. I want to switch my shit. Five. 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 Five.
what what was on heavy rotation when mm. I was when, when I was coming up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, thanks. I like it. I love it. And and to be honest, it wasn't. I didn't I didn't listen to that much Biggie. I didn't listen to that much Pac. Mm. I didn't listen. It, it was it was it was these dudes. Nah, you know this was a rotation. It was all right, rotation, all right. Dog. I feel you, but to be, don't judge him. Mr. Cool's legendary. I, don't try him. First of all, you ain't listening to Mr. So first, dog. First of all, nobody, no, nobody raps. Nobody raps like Mystical. No. Oh, he, nobody. Give me, hey, that you're a great ambition. Give me, give me, how he sound. No, <laughs> like, like, he would, he would be like, he would be like, um. Like, however. Yeah, that's kind of good DMX. Yeah. Yeah. Like, however. No, DMX is more direct. Like, right. yeah, well, DMX is turn, turn, turn. Like, what? No, like, this dude be like. Like, and the, and the wild and the wild shit he will say, bro. Like, yes, yeah, he says the wild shit. Like, man. it was it was it was just it was just entertaining, dog. Mm, no facts. You All know right, what so that nigga had a smoking song three, on every three, album. That's, that's three from the south, by the way. Well, that's, that's big south, right there. I respect that. I respect but, uh, that. I respect they they that. probably all from the south, probably. Okay, the last two. Uh, the last two. You better not two. steal no more of mine, homie. Number four. <laughs> Number four. Um, big crit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Still. Another su- southern, 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 southern. Southern, uh, you see a pattern, dog. <laughs> Texas. You see a pattern. Let me see. Um, and number five. <laughs> Come back to me. Okay. Come back to me. Come back. Oh, well, shit. first right. off, Rip Pop is mm. number one. I appreciate you for that. Number mm. two would be Nas. Mm. Obviously. Mm. That's nasty. I like that. Number three. Would be three stacks. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at that. Number four. Y'all, no, no, no. Sorry, he's number five. Number four. Ah, number four. I would have to say it is. This is gonna come from left field for some of y'all. Ghostface. Mm. Okay. Number four, yeah, Ghostface, and number five, y'all don't really know, but Sean Price. I was about to say, you better not. No, leave no, of course, out no, I can't leave out Sean. No. I remember, I remember when I was introduced to Sean Price by this nigga mm. in 2007 when he dropped Jesus Price Superstar. Man, uh, oh, I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I listened to it is because you said Ninth Wonder did the beats, and I love Ninth Wonder. Who's Sean Price? Um, he's from Brownsville, Brooklyn. He's a like he started out. He passed away like four years ago. He like started oh, out man. underground. He stayed out. underground. Yeah. yeah. Like he, he was one of the best underground artists. And like there's oh, an man. interview. I was gonna tap. I'm gonna tap in. Yo, no, no, I'm gonna say no. He yo, can spit. Man. Trust me. So it's hard, hard bars. Shit. Like, hard, hard bars. Hard. And he's a comedian. That's yeah. He's yeah. hilarious. He a gangster. Ass there's an interview. Oh. There's an interview. Oh. There's an interview when that's he um. Guy. That's crazy. When he spoke about turning down deals from Fifty Cent and Jay Z. Like people knew who he was. Right. And on top of that, could you imagine? It, you listen to Sean Price. Could you imagine Sean Price and Eminem on the same song, on oh, the same label? I can definitely imagine. Um, Sean Price is uh, his label is Duck Down. Eminem was about to sign. And, to him. Um, and Eminem was about to sign the Duck Down, but yeah. something happened anywhere. And he ended up with Dre. Dre. Yeah. So Eminem would have been on an underground Brooklyn mm-hmm. label. That's crazy. Uh-huh. That's crazy. He was this and close. He, and he probably would have took them to the next level. And Pac. Pac. Yeah. And Pac, and like Pac had a connection to him because he wanted to connect them and other groups. Mm. Because before Pac passed, he wanted to do that One yeah. Nation he thing. He was cool with Black mm. he was He was cool with everybody. He wanted to form like this thing called One Nation. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. group from North, South, East, West is yeah. coming together and having together. our own shit. You know what I'm saying? But Don't, isn't, yeah, it funny how, demise. isn't it funny how niggas die whenever they try to unify black people? Oh, absolutely. Always. It's, not, it's not a coincidence. So, Always, but you know. So Pac, Nas, three steps. Oh, I got my fifth. Ghostface, whenever you're ready. And Sean Price. Mm-hmm. I like that. And he and and not to say anything, but he would wash all oh, y'all top five. <laughs> my top five. We'll wash your top five. Eddie Taylor, what's your five? Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne Prime. Somebody touched Lil Wayne Prime. This say what you need to say. Oh yeah, that's number six. Lil Wayne Prime is nasty. Huh? No ceilings. Talking about Lil Wayne Prime. That was crazy. Yeah, nah, Lil Wayne. Job three, nasty. He was amazing. Is. Yeah, come on yeah. now. Let's wait with it. Come on, who's your fifth? So, just because y'all say it's just all down south niggas, the fifth. <laughs> Don't say trick daddy. Nah. Farrah Munch. Farrah Munch? That is a damn good person to play. Farrah Munch? Hey, okay. To you, Bro. Yeah, that's Mr. I, 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 listen Munch. I, I listen to a lot of, of Farrah Munch back in the day. Like, and, even, and even now, dog, like the way he. I was just like, yeah. This Fair- dude. 
Pharaoh Munch is so nasty. Eminem said, I, when I spit like I'm on my Pharaoh Munch grind. Remember when yeah, you said yeah, that, shit? that shit? On Rap yeah. God, I was like, okay, nigga, yeah. I, know you see it. I know you see it. Yeah, that nigga spit. Destiny, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. So if I were to say my top five, that's, damn, that's a good ass top five. I don't even know. Mine's going to be terrible. But in no particular order. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, my, I didn't think, I ain't think this through, five? but I'm definitely going to have out, Outcast because I'm going to put a mix of like what I came up on and what really influenced me on when I used to rap, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as well as, uh, you know, what still sticks with me now? Shit, my go tos, what I think about to listen to right away, right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Outcast is definitely in there, <clears throat> and that's both of them. Like I know Big Boys versus just no, just as much as I know Drake versus. Like, yeah. People, like I love both of them. Um, uh, Lupe Fiasco. I'm gonna put. Oh it yeah, in it's there. big shout out but Lupe. More so like first two albums Lupe. Holy. <laughs> but he's still and, a little monster. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Let me not, let me not, let me not say all that. Yeah, it, it, most one of the most intelligent niggas ever. And um, Storytelling period. Too. Um, I'ma put. Damn, this is hard. Oh, pause. Uh, hmm. the oh. roots. <laughs> I gotta put the roots, and I the say roots. the roots because oh. Black Thought and Malik B together. Most of y'all don't know Malik B, one of the other rappers from the Malik roots. B. Yeah. Um, yeah. but that them two together and the roots got other rappers like Dice Raw and shit that niggas don't know about yeah. that come in here and there but anyway the roots but they also my favorite band of all time so that's three yeah shit I'm doing terrible alright so number four <laughs> and this is no particular order man I'm about to I'm about to leave some shit out but I, I'm honestly gonna have to say It's terrible. Y'all gonna have to come back to me next episode. <laughs> that was that was solid. No, you didn't yeah. you, you didn't want to say um. Yeah. Technically, you name ten people, but. <laughs> nah, well, I'm gonna put most deaf on there. Oh yeah, so cool. And then I will say how about, number five. Huh? How about five? How about I'm wait, I'm a, I gotta go with somebody I'm listening to, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Lil Uzi Vert. Remember five? Lil Uzi Vert? No, 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 I'm joking. No, how about right, Blueface? Right. <laughs> I would not say that ever in my life. They, they make great music, y'all gonna get man. back to me next episode for number five. Facts. Appreciate Word. y'all. Word. <laughs> yes, boy. Word. Yes, Laguna. Appreciate much you, love for having me. Much love, much love, much love, much love, much love, much love. Appreciate you coming love. through, Laguna. Hopefully, I'm hey. I'm being y'all top five at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and and tell you the with. people where they can follow you and you know listen to your music and everything. Oh, uh, Laguna underscore one K under my SoundCloud, Twitter, and Instagram. Just follow me on those, and you'll be updated on everything, all my movements. Much wow. love and peace always. Sure, sure love. We want to thank Laguna for coming through and dropping a lot of his knowledge here. You know, we dropping gems for everybody. Facts. Gems. You know, <laughs> we dropping gems. But before we do go, we have to present you with the... EBTO. <laughs> yeah. EBP The EBP. I said EBT. Wow. And you know, in about a week, you're going to have a butler show up to your front door. He's going to have a bottle of handy scene. Wait, wait. Don't tell this nigga that because he's going to expect it. These false promises. Don't expect that shit. It ain't a trophy shot coming up on my head. We made it. I'm going to come to your crib in a tuck with a black and mild his mouth. No with two gloves Still. on a gold tray with a bottle Still. of Hennessy. Still. Still. Hey, we, made, we made this false pr- promise every week, but this is Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. <laughs> when we get it popping, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. We get that budget. So, yes. <laughs> Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. I Uh-oh. said that already. He's malfunctioning. Malfunction. <laughs> malfunction. <laughs> malfunction. A.k.a. <laughs> <laughs> Gary and uh, Gary Indiana Jones, <laughs> aka no more, aka stop the violence. Mm, <laughs> and you know it's your boy, the inventor of the word "extraduce yourself." It's your boy, I seen black, aka black dynamite, aka got me forgetting my aka's like my name, Flocka Zulu, aka hey, holy wow. for carroches, aka shabby ranks, aka <laughs> always been on black, aka Way Bixby, aka Swiss. <laughs> Arm and nigga, twist. Arm and nigga, twist. Arm and nigga, twist. Arm and nigga. Hey, that shit ride, nigga. That's we need to make something off that shit. You see, you see y'all hey. caught the beat before the beat even happened. Yeah, bro. Hey, you <laughs> built that shit. You built that shit, man. That's the most that genuine shit. smile he gives when he's singing Swiss Army, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only time I smile for real. But it's your boy, <laughs> Dramatic, aka Loud Pack Chopra, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis. <laughs> A.K.A. Uh, damn. A.K.A. Your mom's favorite. A.K.A. Your mama's favorite. 
Yeah. Your boy Laguna. Thanks for having me, AKA 1K. AKA Malcolm, a moment in you after a black man. I'm out. Hey. Thanks for having me. Hey, that's it. Good show. Roll that weed up. If y'all. Facts. Look at that. I got warrants. <laughs>